friends welcome back in the previous videos we have seen how to record a macro to hide and unhide a worksheet and how to eliminate unnecessary statements in the recorded uh, macro code or the VBA code and make this those codes simple separating the statements to a different uh, sub procedures like uh, for hiding one procedure for unhiding another procedure and then to the next step we did we have uh, declared a variable, added the loop, and uh, make sure that uh, we have made little effective code through a manual process, and we have written the code basically. So ma to make ourselves confident that we can also write a VBA code. And uh, this code actually was showing unhiding all the sheets in uh, one shot. And then little more uh, color we have added where we have added an array. Uh, adding an array, we are actually making the code further powerful that only it can it can hide or unhide a specific uh, number of sheets or specific named sheets which were declared in the array. In today's video, we are going to discuss rather we are writing a separate code which is more powerful and simpler and will help us to hide or unhide a worksheet, a specific worksheet through a checkbox. If you look at the example we can understand I have uh, four colored uh, tabs which are worksheets and I have named them here and I have checkboxes or checkboxes are uh, checked now and if I uncheck each checkbox like uh, suppose for sheet 1 if I uncheck the sheet 1 is disappearing and if I check the checkbox the sheet is coming back the same way I can make sure that all the sheets are uh, hidden and all the sheets are unhidden by specific event so each checkbox is checked then sheets are appearing otherwise they are hidden so this code is not written completely as a new but we have used some statements from here and then added few more uh, statements and then added activex control and then accordingly we, we have created this uh, code but before watching this uh, video I have a suggestion that kindly watch the videos which are earlier made for uh, these macros like uh, creating a macro, recording a macro for uh, hiding and hiding a worksheet and how to clean the uh, recorded macro and making that two uh, sub procedures and then adding some more uh, uh, elements like uh, declaring a variable, adding a loop and then adding array etc if you look at those videos first you will have a flow of uh, understanding of each uh, VBA uh, code and definitely it will create more interest in you so that you can do a better job so I have given all the videos uh, screenshots here so where from you can just stop the video can just uh, click on each video so that you can go to that uh, video specific video watch them after watching all them all of them if you watch this video it will be more uh, easy to understand and it will be more value addition for you now let us uh, start writing the macro so before that I wanted to take these two statements which are uh, two sub procedures into account because I am using these sub procedures in that code so I have already copied as I pasted here and uh, I am just uh, shutting down that file alone now have a new file so wherein I am going to write the code I will write this as summary so the worksheet name is summary and keeping this here and then color the tabs now I am just writing the sheet names sheet 1, sheet 2, sheet 3, sheet 4. You will definitely see the simplicity of this code and you can definitely try to write VBA codes on your own and at least you will put some effort to learn it because it is very easy. So now I am going to develop a tab. Of course you know how to create, uh, I mean how to bring the developer tab into your command ribbon that has already been explained in my earlier videos where the playlist of VBA uh, are created so there you can find this 
and you can go to my channel and get that uh, video so I'm going to insert a ActiveX control which is a checkbox and I'm just inserting it here first I will go to checkbox object edit I don't want any other text here I want to, I want to have only simple checkbox and I kept it here and then copy control and just control and drag control drag control drag so I have four checkboxes readily available so I'm just aligning them so that it will look nice and so like this side this side So the checkboxes are ready. Now I need to add the code to here. Here we need to understand one thing. Till now we were talking about sub procedures. So in all the videos for the entire series, if you see, all are sub procedures. But in this case, I am creating a private sub procedure. So the private sub procedure will not be located in the module. It will be located in the sheet itself. So it's a private sub procedure is basically applicable only for this workbook alone. So right click go to view code the moment if you do you will get uh, one private sub procedure is recreated there what i'm going to do is first i'm adding worksheet sheet one visible true i'm just taking this first copy and then pasting it here now you have to see the simple thing here i'm writing the code just see how best you can write it if checkbox one value is equal to true that's what i have written checkbox is basically the checkbox and checkbox name is here and i'm writing that checkbox value is nothing but if checkbox is checked that means it is true then worksheets sheet one visible is equal to true and then if same statement I'm just copying sorry I'm just copying the statement copy paste only truths will become false right I'll go to the Excel now so first of all I need to come out of design mode because it is in a design mode since I have already taken sheet 1, if I if I check the box, sheet 1 is appearing. Rather, if I check the checkbox, sheet 1 is appearing. If I uncheck the checkbox, sheet 1 is disappearing. That's all. Remaining everything is, uh, is like a cakewalk. You can go to the code again. Then create another private. Rather, I will uh, not say, I will just say here go here because I have not created any code for this so I need to go to developer uh, tab design mode activate and then go here say view code and then copy these two go here change the checkbox name because the checkbox name is checkbox 2 and then it should be sheet 2 sheet 2 go back again view code for sheet 3 again here the checkbox 3 the name the name of the checkbox is checkbox 3 copy paste change the checkbox name to checkbox 3 and then change the name to sheet 3 same thing could go here view code rather you can create on your own just simply change the names to checkbox 4 and all but I am showing you the real path where from you need to come if you click on that it will automatically create a private sub and then accordingly you can just simply write the code I am just adding the values and change this to checkbox 4 and then sheet 4 that simple if I go to the code 
go to developer tab come out of the design mode so if I uncheck all the check boxes every sheet is hidden if I check each box things are coming out like this all one by one all are hidden or unhidden whatever so I don't want to show up everything I want to show only sheet one and I don't want to do my work go to sheet one do your job come back to summary just unhide it with a simple event and suppose you are adding another uh, another sheet what to do simple I'll name it as sheet 5 for uh, understanding purpose and go to summary add sheet 5 and then go to design mode developer design mode add copy down sorry control drag and then say view code copy all these and then paste so it is checkbox 5 so obviously the value will be checkbox check box 5 and then sheet 5 that's all come to developer tab come out of design mode now again if you select sheet 5 sheet 5 is also behaving the same way other sheets are behaving so if I want I can open I can unhide all the sheets and if I don't want I can just hide all the sheets and I can unhide only those sheets which I wanted to work with hope you understand and uh, hope you like it and keep watching as usual please practice and like share and subscribe if you subscribe it will be useful to you to get my new video alerts so that you can watch them on a regular basis and most important thing is you need to practice otherwise my videos will not be able to help you anything further my videos are actually making you to understand the concept or rather getting a kind of interest within the subject but practice will definitely make you to be successful thank you